it going guys? Mozart Steve here. So today I want to talk to you guys about something kind of important and something that uh, is pretty personal to me as well. But maybe I'm too young to be thinking about shit like this. I don't know. I don't think so. But a lot of people will probably think, oh, you're too young to be thinking about shit like that. Live a little, yada, yada, yada. But you know, I think every day, you know, I look around, I look at society, I look at people, and I always say to myself, it's like, you know, you only get one life on this earth. What are you going to do with it? You know, what kind of legacy are you going to leave behind? You know, and animal rights and everything is like a big thing, especially right now. It's something that's been growing over the last couple of years, but especially now in 2015, there's so many like vegan people around and shit that it's, it's really starting to grow and gain some speed, I guess. And you know, I've been vegan for probably, well fuck, three years now, it's September. I went vegan three years ago in September. And I've never looked back. It's been one of the greatest things I've ever did. But you know, that's kind of a selfish way of looking at it, like what it's done for me. I mean, yeah, it's done a hell of a lot for me. But what I'm speaking of as far as leaving a legacy behind like, what are you going to do for the planet? The biggest benefit of living the kind of lifestyle I live is the fact that it saves tons of animals. But even beyond that, a lot of people are like, oh, I don't give a fuck about animals, yada, yada, yada. I just give a fuck about myself. And the big thing is, is not only does it save animals, but while saving animals, it also helps save the planet. And thus, it's actually doing you more favors than you think. You know, a lot of people go vegan because they're like, oh, I want the health benefits. You know, I've got high cholesterol. I want to get rid of that. Or I've got, I've got some kind of heart disease or something. I want, to, I want to solve that. And, you know, the vegan diet is a definitely a good way to get rid of shit like that, to get rid of terminal illnesses and things like that. I mean, it's been proven time and time again that a low-fat, high-carb vegan diet will get rid of illnesses and shit like that. So, you know, it goes beyond the health benefits. I mean, I'll admit, when I first started doing the whole vegan thing, my health was not in the best shape. You know, I was like almost 300 fucking pounds and just not in good shape at all. It's not just a health thing for me. I mean, it started at first. I mean, I was like, shit, I want to get healthier. And what I did is I basically weaned myself off of, you know, like dairy, eggs, meat and shit like that. But what really made it click was when I started looking into the ethics and all the science behind it. You know, just be, being a vegan, they say you save 300 animals a year. So that means in the time I've went vegan in between now, I've saved about a thousand animals. A thousand animals. One person saved a thousand animal lives. And from such an easy thing too. I mean, it's, it's kind of fucking unbelievable. And then also look at this, you know, factory farming is destroying the ecosystem. Look how much land is just absolutely de destroyed and depleted of its nutrients of just growing all kinds of corn and shit just to feed it the cattle. You know, if we took the food that we use to feed livestock and all the other animals to raise animals basically just so we could kill them and take their meat for ourselves. If we took that feed, that corn, that wheat, that grain, and actually ate it ourselves or dispersed it, if we took that food and, you know, distributed it throughout the world, we could get rid of world hunger. I honestly think that we could get rid of world hunger. If not, get rid of like 90% of it. Because look at how much water and how much food is wasted for such a small bit of meat. And you know, that's not me just being an asshole and fucking spouting some shit off my head. Really, do the research. There's so much materials and resources wasted just so people can have a steak, just so people can have some eggs, just so people can have, you know, whatever. And you know, if you're one of those people that eat that stuff, you know, don't think that I'm looking down on you or, you know, I'm going to be a prick about it. I mean, no, I don't agree with what you're doing. But at the same time, I think it's better to try to educate the public rather than to try to demonize them and say, oh, you're fucking doing wrong, blah, 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 which is kind of funny because if you tell someone you're vegan nine times out of ten, 
that's what happens to you. Oh, where are you going to get your protein from? Blah, 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 blah. And it's like, plants, motherfucker. Where the fuck else do you think people get protein from? Where do you think the cow that you had just staked earlier, where do you think it got its protein from? The fucking grass, man. The corn, the grain, whatever the fuck it was fed. It's just like, what the fuck? It's like, how do people not get this? I mean, starting off, yeah, I know humans, people argue all day that humans were scavengers, yada, yada, yada. But the science is there by looking at dental records, bones, all kinds of shit, that humans started off as fruitarians. And if you don't know what a fruitarian is, basically that's someone who ate like seeds, fruit, you know, vegetables and shit, stuff like that. And you know, I don't mean to make this video really to preach. But it got me thinking, you know, as far as the topic of what kind of legacy are you going to leave behind? And, you know, like, for instance, since I went vegan, my younger brother went vegan with me. That's so think about it. I saved about 900 animals. He's been vegan about the same amount of time I've been. He saved about 900 animals. And my fiance has been vegetarian for the last two years. But the last four months, she's finally made the switch and went vegan. I finally got her off fucking cheese and fucking dairy and butter and shit like that and you know so in those three months i mean do the fucking math i mean if you save 300 a year then she's probably saved what like a hundred by now that's a big fucking difference that's a pretty substantial number over three years to save almost fucking i don't even know like over three thousand fucking animals just by changing your diet and your lifestyle i mean that's pretty fucking crazy is it not and, you know, that's what I'm saying. You know, think about it. Every action we have as the human race has a equal reaction. You know, if you want to, you know, exploit the planet for your own greed and shit, that's going to come back on you. It really is. And that's what factory farming is. It's just really exploiting humans' desire to eat meat and all that shit. And it's just exploiting that greed and that desire... For their own financial gain, I mean, they put antibiotics and shit in the chickens and the eggs and everything to make them bigger, to grow faster, all kinds of shit. And it's all, it's all money, man. It's all trying to grab that money and profit off of shit. I mean, look at how many health books are around that just spit out this horrible fucking bro science about, oh, you need 200 grams of protein to build muscle. If you don't, then you're going you're gonna to go catabolic and lose all your fucking muscle tissue. So buy our whey protein, man. Perfect. Perfect. So you can make sure you get enough protein in. I mean, think about that shit. You ever watch like a supplement commercial and just think about it. Just think in your head, are they trying to sell me on this shit? They always bring up some bogus-ass fucking information or something. And they're like, yeah, that's why you need this product. That's why you need Megaplex 950 fucking milligram whatever fucking tablet, man. So you can go beast mode in the gym. And it's all just a bunch of marketing bullshit, man. It's a bunch of people profiting off of other people's bad health. That's, that's what the pharmaceutical companies and the fucking the diet health industry has become it's just a bunch of people that want to keep people stupid keep them ignorant and just profit off them yeah keep buying our products because you need this you, you need this you definitely need this when the fucking reality is, is no the fuck you don't you just need some whole fucking plant food fucking that's from the fucking earth meant for you that's biologically designed for you and fucking i just i just don't understand but you know, that's what I tend to leave behind, man. I tend to leave behind the legacy of teaching people about the shit that goes on, about helping people get better health, help people make better choices, and just leave a fucking healthy, fulfilling life. That's part of my legacy, man. So you know, ask yourself, what are you doing today? Or what could you be doing to leave something positive behind? You know, just think about that. You know, everything you do is going to have an impact on something, some way or another. But anyway, guys, hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully, a lot of people aren't going to bitch me out and hate me for it. Which, I mean, if you do, whatever. I mean, it is what it is. But, you know, at the end of the day, I'm just here to try to help people. And try to educate some people on the fucked up shit that goes on. But anyway, hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, be sure to give it a like comment subscribe 
You know, if you're one of those assholes that want to hate me because of the way I eat or the way I live, then yeah, leave me some troll comments or something. I'll, I'll get a good laugh out of it, or something like that. Maybe I'll even respond to you and make you look retarded or something. I don't know. But anyway, hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Later.